Alright, and back to Bowser Strikes Back. It seems that due to some unusual circumstances, I am no longer able to play the episode normally, even after a little bit of modification. So it looks like the only thing I can do now is play it in the level editor. So I guess here we go, test level 1-up. Yeah, let's go ahead and save the level first. I didn't really modify anything, so... Okay, so as we can see here, everything's becoming a bit more gigantic. Not only the Goombas and the Koopas, but also the Bullet Bills, and the Piranha Plants that spit fire at me. Even they are giant now. Hmm. Too bad I don't get a giant mushroom, though. That would, that would fit rather nicely. Or even a giant feather, but I highly doubt Mario would be able to fly around with a giant raccoon suit. Or carry a giant cart around with him. And so now we go from the giant hills to World 6-2, the Epic Cave. A little bit of a spoiler, what's inside those blocks? Got the coin there, and if we already Super Mario, you would get a leaf from that one block right there. Hmm. Well, who with the giant cards? I'm guessing it's probably a good thing that Mario doesn't actually have to carry those cards around with him in order to claim a 5-up. Or something like Super Mario Brothers 3, because in this case, they're probably a bit too heavy for him. Okay, four times. Well, not four times, but uh, twice the height, twice the width. Probably twice the thickness, so that would be about eight times the weight. I don't know how he would be able to handle that with the coins or everything. With all these giant enemies, though, if only there was a giant Yoshi to try and take care of them. Hmm, probably wouldn't be able to ride one, though. And so, next we skip immediately from World 6-2 to the next completed level. World 6-5 would be the Gigantic Hills. It's like change of pace for the music here this time. All right. Another power-up block from inside that. The Gigantic Hills, even the Gigantic Mushrooms, too. Is it really everything gigantic, or is Mario shrunk in its... The mushroom normally is supposed to be a mini mushroom, but... For some reason, Mario's case, since he's already so small, it turns him into what he would think is Super Mario, but of course in reality, compared to the Koopas, the Goombas, and everything, he would be regular Mario. Yeah. I'd also be kind of concerned about a giant Yoshi. Yes, uh, might be able to clear out all the enemies for Mario, but... Uh, N not necessarily would it be for Mario, though. Just because he's hungry, and then he would try to... Yoshi would try to swallow Mario afterwards, so... Gotta be worried about that. Okay. Why is everything freezing on me? At least for a little bit. Okay, Nipper. Well, you just, uh, you may be bigger, but you're not gonna jump higher. It looks like I'm gonna have to go around get what's in that one question mark block. Okay. Skipper. Deny me my mushroom in another way, this time by walking away from it so that it doesn't bounce back towards me. Nice one there. But, too bad for Nipper, it did not work out this time. Although Nipper does live. Or not that I guess I'll let him live this time. Doesn't make that much sense, though. Okay. There we go, and for a jump. Well, a bit too much money for Mario to handle, especially when it's not worth nearly as much as it should look like. slide like that. Ow! Okay, I really do think it, it would make sense for giant coins like these uh, to, be, to be worth anything between 5 and 8 
regular coins. And of course, if we were to find those that are already worth five coins in their normal size, I guess in this case, if I'm in a giant form, they'd be worth 25 to 40. I, th I, th I think that would make sense. Make it much less backbreaking for Mario. You can make the exchange for the one up a lot faster. In a universe where somehow life is money, money is life. So, for World 6 6, the Sands of Death. See, we're no longer continuing on with the giant theme, at least not for this level. Okay, so here we go. Yoshi, you wake up. Thank you. Oh, you didn't help me out here. Be thankful that this is not a giant desert, otherwise, this normal sized Yoshi is probably gonna dry out a lot quicker. Especially if you eat a fire flower in order for Mario to be able to gain that power up. Don't always have to be a hero now, do you? Okay, so let's go ahead and run. And maybe, maybe it's a good thing that uh, this is not a supersized desert because all well, the quicksand it was supersized. Of course, for Mario, it wouldn't even be sand, so it might be a bit more painful. Then again, he might be able to just walk on it. Because it did move, it would. He would sink a lot faster, I guess. So, this level is called Enlarged Oasis, but when you consider the enemies that were in the previous levels, 6-1, 6-2, and 6-5, well, at least it's not the enemies that are enlarged this time. Okay, so let's go for a swim, and at least now we have water regardless. And it's still water, so e even if it's larger, I'm guessing that uh, well, you wouldn't have to worry about it. You could just treat it like normal water. It's not going to be like sand, which would be like rocks to him. Or a uh, Goomba, which would be like a giant. Ooh. And once again, Yoshi. But... Uh, all the other enemies I have to, have to be more worried about. Uh, like, uh, Bonsai Bill is already pretty gigantic, so if we were to encounter a giant version of that Bonsai Bill, then I think Mario would have to clear out of here. He wouldn't be able to jump over. His only hope would be to be able to duck or be high enough already that he could jump over, I guess. Okay, so down the oasis we go. Kind of harder to tell this time that we are in a desert here. Plenty of water around. No one's gonna go thirsty. No, nothing's gonna go thirsty. All right. A little confusing here, but uh, all right. Let's go up, I guess, and here we are, out of the water. Had your fun now, Mario. A little swim. Probably went so deep that you feel fresh now. I, I hope. I don't know for sure. I just hope. And once again, at the checkpoint again. Miss them. Well, let's go ahead and down this pipe now, and maybe feel fresh once again. Oh, it, it, Wario. Oops, I had my cursor on the screen, but this is a level editor, so it can't really be helped. We, f we find again. First, you must defeat the enemies that I have for you. Whoa. Probably... Okay. I'm gonna be firing Birdo's eggs, I see. Can I pick one up? It the egg is going rather slowly, so... Yeah. And, you know, if I can keep hold of this egg and rats, it's probably difficult, anyway. Can I? No, it doesn't look like I can just hold on to the egg. So maybe you'll damage. Well, here we go. Now, next challenge, defeat all the slimes. Alright, these slimes. Let me jump. Speaking of jump, they certainly enjoy it. And at the same time, Wario is trying to fight me. That's kind of dirty of him. Okay, there are these one-ups that I've got. Again, the level editor, so... Doesn't really matter that much. Maybe a few fireballs should resolve this. How many more? Now, next challenge. I hope it's... No, it's not going to be Wario himself. Hmm, sad. 
Sense rather unexpectedly. Well, I guess next time I will go on to the next available level. 